2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Genesis Invitational. Today's coverage is just about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this player starts their round in the lead. What's the game plan for them today? This player just needs to keep going out and just staying as relaxed as they have been and don't take unnecessary chances. Just keep it simple, find some fairways, find some greens, hole a few putts if you will, and see where it lands at the end of the day. Well, it's all set up for an exciting event. Can't wait to get into this. Handy effort, that one. Time for the second shot into the first. Going with the hybrid. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. I'll tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game, a bold play. Hopefully a bold reward. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. Wow, talk about an opening statement. An eagle on the first hole, Rich. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. What an amazing putt from way out. After that hole, they currently lead in first place with John Rahm in second. And now teeing off on this par four hole. I've never seen a golf course where you're so happy to start off birdie bogey. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. The second hole, pretty straight away off the tee shot. The second shot moves a little bit from left to right back up the hill. There is some space on the right-hand side to miss your second shot up by the green, but there's no guarantees that it'll kick hard enough right to left to get back on the green. It's a sensational second hole. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Going with the pitching wedge here. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. And it's time to recap that play. Now that finds him in first place. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Wow, that was just striped.
Time for the second shot into the third. Seem to lose the handle on that shot. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Oh, well played. Great touch. You finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. Currently in first position. Teeing off here at the fourth. This is a spectacular par three. Ideally, players want to hit a tee shot that moves significantly from right to left and moving with the contour of the green. If they can do that, then they've got an opportunity to hit it really close. If they challenge the pin off the tee shot, well, it could come up short in that bunker, and that is a massive no-no. Not a bad play, that one. 13 feet to the cup. He's staring down a birdie putt here. It's got a chance. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? An opportunity to make their par. Now, eight shots in front. Welcome to the tee of a par four. The fairway does run out about 310 yards off the tee, and players not necessarily going to hit driver here. They have to be mindful that the fairway pitches significantly from right to left on their tee shot. From there, they're hitting their second shots downhill again to a green that chases away from them front to back. Again, a simple looking second shot, but a difficult one to get close. Playing this one about 130 yards out. That could play. And he's safely on the green. Uh, 14 footer. This one's looking good. A oh, well hold. He'll take the birdie. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Here we are in front of a par three. What an incredible design this is. And it really just takes this green and it makes it into a section of four. The back right, the front right, front left, and back left, they all have their unique features to it. And that all is due to the simple fact that that bunker, which is tiny, minuscule, almost not even there, it basically shapes that green into the four quadrants. It is just an amazing design. He's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard. After that. I'm pretty sure this play will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. The fairway bunker down the left-hand side comes in quicker than you can imagine. And so players want to try and hit it out towards the far right part of it. But again, you push it a little bit and now the Barranca comes into play. If you find the fairway, happy days. This green is probably one of the most severe tilted from back to front. Players need to make sure their second shots land past this hole in order for it to come back down towards the hole. You will have a downhill putt, but it's better than coming up short. This one's for birdie. Nice stroke. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day.
managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Oh my, that was launched. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. This is looking pretty good in the air. A great shot here at the eighth and a chance for birdie. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. These are on rails, looking good. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. Our current leader is enjoying an eight stroke advantage. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie, a great opportunity to build on that momentum. Only the big hitters are going to be able to carry that fairway bunker down the left-hand side. Most players are going to try and avoid it and even miss it, the fairway out to the right-hand side, which is not a bad miss. From there, the second shot is directly uphill. Deep, deep bunkers on the front right part of this. That is not the place to miss it. Anything that's a little bit long will leave you a downhill putt, but that's the safe play. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. That's a super shot. That's another green in regulation. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. This putt coming up is for birdie. This looks good. Oh, what a super shot. Leading by nine strokes after that one. To me, the short par four is the most underrated hole in all of golf. No, not at all. And what a hole it is. It's changed a lot over the years. This green is actually reminds me of something you would see at Pinehurst. There is no flat spots on it. It either is downhill or uphill. That's it. Players most likely will take driver or fairway wood and try and leave themselves just on the front left portion of this green. That's the most ideal spot they can hit it no matter where they put the flag stick. However, hitting it there is nearly impossible. A keen short game is absolute necessity to make birdie here. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. Still in the lead now after that hole. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. It's just a long straightaway par five, almost a runway, if you like. Both sides of this fairway flanked by huge eucalyptus trees, which frames this tee shot brilliantly. You find the fairway, second shot, once again, straightforward. You must avoid that bunker front right at all costs. That is deep and nasty. You're not going to enjoy being in there. You like that, didn't you? Right on four feet. Should make this one.
And that's a great punt for an eagle. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. It's time to begin this powerful hole. This is where the golf course gets extremely difficult, Luke. This tee shot moves from left to right, but massive overhanging eucalyptus trees down the right-hand side prevents you from hitting a high draw over them. Once you're in the fairway, though, your second shot is to a green that's really not as big as it should be for such a long hole. And there's a famous tree just short and left of this green, Bogey's tree. Not because of the score, because Humphrey Bogart used to sit there and just watch everybody butcher this hole. That tee shot looks pretty good. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 165 yards. Choosing the nine iron here. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. This is a good chance. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. This player must be in heaven. Their lead is now 11. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. It's really cool. This tee shot is framed by large eucalyptus trees, both right and left, requires a draw. Nothing else to do. You have to move this golf ball from right to left off this tee. If you do it correctly, well, that golf ball could chase down there miles down this fairway. If you find the fairway down there, you're going to love the second shot. The difficulty gets when the pin is all the way back left in this little peninsula. You miss it a little bit left there, you're going to find the barranca, and you're probably going to find a bogey or worse. A tidy looking shot, that one. Oh, that's a great shot. And sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. A seven footer right here. This for back to back birdies. Hey, that's a chance. And down it goes. So that's back to back birdies. Back to back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. This is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. There's always a sense of excitement striding onto the tee of a par three hole. Hit a seven iron, uh, a high little draw seven iron and two hop it right in the hole, Luke. That's what I suggest, that makes it easy. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Oh, good look at Birdie here. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for Birdie. He sits in first position. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. It's a great par four, and yet there's some players that have seen it a little bit differently lately. I always saw it as a dog leg from left to right. Just avoid that fairway bunker down the right-hand side. And this is an interesting green. 
It's got a high spot on the left, and it's got a low middle section and a high section on the right-hand side, and you never have a flat putt. It is always breaking one direction or another, and it's either straight uphill or straight downhill. This is the most difficult green on the golf course by a long margin. If you see it differently, you can hit it down the right, down 17 fairway, but I fail to see how that's any kind of advantage. Playing from around 150 yards here. Oh, come on, sit. <laughs> Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Six feet remaining to the cup. This is what they have left for birdie here. Just didn't drop. He's got a par out here. Let's see if he can make it. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Oh, Rich, is there anything more disappointing setting up what you think is a makeable birdie putt, but unfortunately not able to convert? And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. It's an island green, if you can believe that. It's surrounded by bunkers. I think this is another one of the all-time great designs. It's only about 160 yards, Luke, but the whole green is surrounded by bunkers. Everything feeds towards the center and the front of this green once it gets on there. I just think this is a magnificent design. If you hit it in any one of those bunkers, making a par will be nearly impossible. Looking good. There it is. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Here we are at the 17th tee. At all costs, do not hit it in that fairway bunker down the right-hand side. Anywhere to the left, even in the rough left, is just fine. From there, your next shot should be laid up out to the right-hand side. Third shot, straight back up the hill with some kind of wedge. It can be an easy birdie if you get the distance on your third shot spot on. If you get it wrong, however, you could have some issues. Oh, I like the courage here, Rich, getting after this par five in two. As they should. What a play. Hopefully they'll be rewarded for that play. This really looks good. That will drop and it will extend the lead. Now that finds him in first place. Here they are, full of confidence on the next tee coming off the eagle. Tee shot up the hill, fairway tilts significantly from left to right, missing it out to the right is a massive no-no. You'll be blocked out by a bunch of eucalyptus trees that you cannot hit it through. Second shot is to a green that actually tilts away from the players, not towards them, even though the second shot is uphill. Green is historically one of the firmest on the golf course, and getting it close is nearly impossible. It is a heck of a finishing hole. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This one might need to sit. 
Yeah, nicely played. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this part 14 feet from the cup. Just a four-footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. That signs off on this player's performance.